بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Welcome back to Deen at Dawn Every Friday we listen to the nasiha of our ulama Some beautiful advices and reminders And today inshallah in the morning message We're going to listen to one of the du'at to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And one of the faces you see a lot on, uh, on uh, Hilal TV uh, uh, Fadilat al-Sheikh, uh, dear, bro- or dear brother uh, Asadullah Jabir Fidi Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Give it half al-Sheikh Allah khair, alhamdulillah kif halak Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah How is your morning today? Alhamdulillah, it is, it is much much better May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you How is the work and the da'wah work? Alhamdulillah, the, the da'wah work it is going uh, peacefully And uh, with the brains, well, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Challenges will always be there But alhamdulillah, we persevere We have to, we have to commend Al-Nur uh, Educational Center For all the da'wah work they are doing, mashallah a lot of people accepting the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I myself accompanied Sheikh Asad uh, many times. We used to go to the locations, knock uh, on the doors of people and, uh, and, and find the hospitality of people, the African people. We would go to their, to their houses and invite them to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And many people accepted the deen of Allah azza wa jalla. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil alameen. I believe you, uh, 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 Noor Educational Center is about to buy a church. No, we are in a, a deserted church that's going to be a masjid. No, inshallah, tabarakallah. Where is the place of the church? Uh, it's, it's actually situated, uh, situated in uh, Rylands, uh, mm-hmm. not really uh, within the okay. Athlon area, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. And, and this will, will be transformed into a masjid, inshallah. Inshallah, tabarakallah. So it will be transformed into uh, a masjid where the five daily salah is going to be taking place. And other also. Uh, Islamic activities also alhamdulillah inshallah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help and nur uh, to 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 in the, in the finance of the church because it, the finance of, of buying it I mean and uh, currently actually they're going to be having a pledge line I think maybe next uh, next week or the week after where we're going to be uh, having a pledge line for everyone to help and support oh. in the buying uh, of the church and in, in the transformation to a masjid inshallah uh, Sheikh, what will be the the topic uh, today inshallah for your morning message uh, today is being uh, Yom Al Jumu'ah, so I just said, okay, let it let us just speak about uh, the importance of uh, the day of Jumu'ah as day. Muslims. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, the significance of the day of Jumu'ah. Bismillah, for the Sheikh, you may begin, inshaAllah. Right, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Al Salatu wa Salamu ala Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Sallam. Wa ala Alihi wa Ashabihi wa Baraka Sallam. To myself and the viewers at home, uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always bless us with the Iman. Uh, mm-hmm. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put, uh, to preserve us and uh, also resurrect us on the day of, Jam- uh, on the day of Qiyamah with Iman. Allahumma mm-hmm. ameen. So um, my advice to myself first and the advice to everyone and the viewers at home and wherever you might be uh, watching us, alhamdulillah, uh, it's just the importance and we just remind ourselves about the importance of Yom al-Jum'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayuha al-lazina amanu idha nuriya li salati min yawm al-jum'ah fas'a'u ila dhikri allahi wa dharu al-bay'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to the believers, he's speaking to us as Muslims, that all you, uh, all you people, meaning the people that have believed, Ya ayuha al-lazina amanu, all you who have uh, attained uh, the karima la ilaha illa Allah Muhammad Rasulullah, when they, they call of prayer on Yom al-Jum'ah is being called out or being proclaimed, we should uh, hasten towards uh, the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should leave whatever that will, uh, whatever is keeping us busy uh, with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further on uh, continues by saying that when after the you have you have done you have done you have attended the Jum'ah and you have listened to the uh, advices from the from the Imam or from the Khatib, then you can you can uh, spread yourself. You can go wherever you want to go, meaning seeking the the dunya, the worldly uh, materials. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, firstly, is stopping us. He's rather uh, uh, calling us to His remembrance, and by Him calling us to to to, the, to His remembrance, and then later on He says, then after you have remembered Me, go back wherever you were. Meaning uh, dealing with your with your uh, worldly materials, but by also doing that, do, do not rem- uh, forget Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So whenever we go back to our businesses or whatever we do, we should always and constantly remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Why? Because it is better for us if only we knew. Right? It is better for us only if only we knew the importance of remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. 
in many uh, other places Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions that when we remember Allah we should always remember him uh, more than we remember our own uh, fathers our own parents our own uh, those people that are very very close to us meaning our wives our, our daughters normally a father loves his daughter more than anyone anyone else in, the, in, in this world after of, of course after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rasul and uh, his mother and plus the wife but the, the, the daughter plays a very very big role uh, in a man's life so by that we remember them most uh, after any other creation so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advises us in the Quran that we should always uh, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more or ashadda thikr we should remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than any 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 other creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has um, uh, created on this uh, this world alhamdulillah so why this advice Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always uh, encourages in the Quran you know whenever we we go through the the Quran the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says by reminding each other it is beneficial to us firstly to the person that is giving the advice and also uh, to the people that have been reminded about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it is always a, uh, it is always a benefic- uh, benefit uh, to the believers that we be, uh, we remind each other from time to time sometimes we might be uh, listening to a reminder or to a talk that maybe you already you have maybe listened to it for many 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 times but because we keep ourselves uh, busy with the worldly materials we sometimes forget so by us reminding one another we we we, we remind our, ourselves and we give back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for that that is why I'm we we are trying to remind myself and everyone at home walhamdulillah rabbil alamin so just some of the things that we uh, we should do on yawm al-jum'ah rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioned narrated by sayyidna uh, abu hurairah radiyallahu an that the one who goes out on Yom al Jum'ah, meaning intending to, to perform Salat al Jum'ah, you sit down and listen to the advices from the Imam, uh, from the Khatib, and you do not talk anything in between, meaning you do not even speak to anyone uh, next to you, or whether on your right side or you know, on your left side. So, what, what do you get uh, after that? Rasulullah said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives that person. Why? Because you came to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You listened to the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the advices that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has intended for you to, uh, to hear. Some, something that we should keep in mind is that whenever we go out uh, to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to listen to the khutbah, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bringing us to Him that, oh my slave, I want you. Uh, to be reminded about this because maybe you might be uh, you know neglecting this part of uh, this part of uh, or this aspect in life so come to me and be reminded about about my greatness subhanallah so by us going to the masajid on yawm al jumuah and we listen to the to the talks and the advices from the imam we get the benefit of being forgiven by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one of the things also that uh, makes this day this day a very very special day is that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rasul has said this is the day when the sun uh, rises up in the best in the best and uh, in the best manner and this is the day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created our father Adam alayhi salam this is the day when uh, where uh, the day of judgment will take place subhanallah so the importance of this day it is that even Rasulullah has mentioned that it is prohibited for anyone to fast on this day. It is prohibited for someone to fast on this day. Why? Because we regard this as one of the day, uh, one of the greatest days in Islam. Uh, we call it Yom Al Aid or for the, the weekly Aid. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. So should we want? Uh, should we intend to to fast on Yom Al Jumaa? Then we fast it either one day before or a day after also. So we don't just fast Yom al on, on its own. So we fast a day before or Yom al and then the day after. So meaning Thursday and Friday or Friday and uh, Saturday. So this is the, the wisdom. The, the wisdom behind it, it is through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah because whatever we hear 
from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is not merely from him or from uh, his own desire, but it is the guidance and the wisdom and the inspirations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we take those lessons, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. So something that uh, we, we always tend to forget is to read Surah Al-Kahf on Yawm Al-Jum'ah. On Yawm Al-Jum'ah because the, the night before, you know, we're busy with our own, our own personal things, but the moment we remember that, okay, it's, it is the moment that we, we, we are about to go to Surah Jumu'ah, it's already late. Sometimes because of the businesses that we have, uh, it drags us uh, backwards instead, instead taking us forward uh, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always, always reminds us in the Quran. Whenever we read the Quran, we hear the, the kalam of uh, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by that, we read Surah, uh, surah Al-Kahf either the, the night before or on the same, the same, uh, the same day, inshallah, tabarakallah. So what is the benefit of uh, reading Surah Al-Kahf? Uh, Rasulullah Sallam said, the one who recites uh, Surah Al-Kahf on Yawm Al-Jum'ah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put nur, will put light uh, on his life uh, for the next, uh, up until the following, the following Jum'ah, subhanallah. And one of the benefits is that the one that recites Surah Al-Kahf, he will be protected from the trials and tribulations of uh, Dajjal. So this is the importance of reading Surah Al-Kahf on Yawm Al-Jum'ah. But we can read, uh, we can read any other uh, surahs or any other chapters in the Quran. But specific, we read Surah Al-Kahf on Yawm Al-Jum'ah as advised by the, by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we should always put in ourselves that Maybe I, I did not read uh, the Quran at all this previous uh, week. So at least we read, uh, we read something from the Quran on Yom Al-Jum'ah. Ma'alasaf, most of us, we, uh, we even forget to, to even read the small, smaller uh, verses or the chapters from the Quran. You know, the small um, surahs that our Rasulullah has advised us to read each and every, each and every morning, each and every uh, evenings. So from the Ma'athurat, subhanAllah. But here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Rasulullah is giving us a chance to recite the Qur'an. SubhanAllah, tabarakallah. So other things that we can also uh, share with, uh, with each other, inshaAllah, is that the advices of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are always good for us. Why? Because He is a creator. So He is the one that created us and He knows what is better for us. Should we listen and take that those advices from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we, we can never go wrong in life. Knowingly, knowingly that our goal is not to, to, to live in this world forever, we always have to, uh, to hold firm on the, on the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we all, we're always going to be uh, guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But inshallah, there is just this one uh, verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in Surah At-Tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, telling the Prophet Muhammad sallam, that tell them if their fathers, their mothers, their, their daughters, their sons, their sisters, their, any, anyone, a family, uh, family member or businesses that we, we, we own or the, the wealth that we, we have, the, ones that, the, the wealth that we, we are so afraid to lose, so whenever a cent goes down or a rent goes down, we, we stress. We stress so much that, you know what, I've, I've lost so much and I need to, to, to acquire more so that I can add from whatever I've lost from this business. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is informing, he is instructing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying that if all these things we, we have mentioned, your fathers, your money, your wealth and everything, whatever you own, it is more beloved to, Allah, more, more beloved to you then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning fighting your own desires, uh, trying to come to uh, come to, uh, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then wait for the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would decide on your affairs, subhanAllah. On those, what affairs is that? Because we have taken these things that we, we always going to leave behind when we leave this world, as something that is more avail 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 uh, available, like, like things that we, we, we have put uh, a value 
more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, more than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, more than striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, in, ca- in coming, getting closer to Allah, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should always be reminded that the day that we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's, it's not going to be a very, very good day. Why? Because it is a promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَتَرَبَّصُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِ Then uh, behold that the day that we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just wait for his decision. Oh, just wait for his punishment. Then when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to always uh, protect us and to we always uh, to always guide us on the straight path. And that is why we are always reciting the Surah Al-Fatiha in all our, our daily uh, prayers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always guide us on the straight path. Ijnaya Surah Al-Mustaqim. How many times we, we read the Surah Al-Fatiha every day? But reading the Surah Al-Fatiha without understanding without implementation it, it will be useless at the end of the day why because now we're reading, so we're reading something else and we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something else yet we do not show that eagerness of coming uh, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it is my advice to myself and the advice to the viewers at home let us hold firm on the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we're living in a very very a uh, strange moment in, 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 in this world where everything is just, you know, moving very, very quick. We never know where tomorrow is going to lead us. So we need to uh, to use what we have. The, the, the small knowledge that we have, even if you have you have memorized Surah Al-Fatiha and that's it, but try to read that, inshallah, tabarakallah. Or you have uh, memorized the three uh, chapters of the Quran, read that, inshallah, tabarakallah, and try to uh, to implement those those small 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 uh, things we co- we we call them small things, but in eyes of, of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, they are great. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says uh, in the Quran, That we may take other things very very lightly, but in eyes of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, they are great. Why? Because of the the greatness of the rewards that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is going to give to the one who does them correctly with a good intention. Subhanallah. Uh, with that, I will I will ask myself to be protected uh, mm. by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala from my from my own nafs, because the the, the only thing that can distract uh, can distract a person besides the shaitan it is uh, our own nafs. So if we train our nafs to uh, and we we bring our nafs towards the closeness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, then it will be uh, it will be Meaning it will be easier for us to, to, to attend to anything. Meaning it will be easier for us to actually fight any other battles that we may face in our lives. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this beautiful advice from Fadil Sheikh. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the capacity, inshaAllah, to follow this advice and implement it in our lives. Amen. Allahumma amin. amin. Shakirin amin. lakum jiddan. Jazakumullah khairan. Shukran exactly. Jazina for this advice. All right, uh, with the, with this beautiful advice from Fadl Sheikh Asadullah Jabir Firi, we came to the end of the segment of our program uh, for this morning. We're going to be taking a short break. We'll come back after the break, inshallah.